Accidente aquí en la 234 y la Universi. Ya para llegar a la 28 aquí por el FBI. At 89.3 FM, this is member supported WPFW Washington. Welcome to On the Margin. My name is E. Ethelbert Miller, and my guest today is Clifford Thompson. Clifford Thompson is the author of. Love for Sale and other essays. Twin of Blackness, a memoir. Este accidente acaba de ocurrir hace como 15 minutos. How are you doing this morning, Clifford? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me. Oh, great to talk to you. Uh, you got a birthday coming up soon, right? I do. Tomorrow, in fact. Yes. Okay, happy yes. birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I first came across your work, Cliff, um, in Terry McMillan's Breaking Ice, an anthology of contemporary African American fiction, mm -hmm. published back in 1990, which included a preface by John Edgar Wideman. Yep. You had a short story, Judgment, published in this book. Give our listeners a brief summary of what Judgment is about, and tell us how it felt to be included in this important anthology with 56 other major African American writers. Well, at the, at the time uh, that the anthology appeared, I was uh, uh, 27 years old. Uh, the story Judgment in Breaking Ice was actually my first uh, published work, and so I was uh, I was I was thrilled. I mean, I, I felt like uh, I, I felt like a, a you know a little league baseball player uh, on the field with uh, you know Willie Mays or something. <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> it was it was great. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a nice feeling. Uh, the story I was uh, I was in touch with uh, Terry McMillan, the, the editor of the anthology, and. Uh, uh, my agent at the time, Marie Brown, sent the story to her, and uh, uh, one of the reasons that uh, Terry decided to include it was that it was, she said it was the only uh, submission that uh, kind of broached the the, uh, the subject of interracial dating, and uh, you know, which is a very kind of a hot button a hot button issue, and um, so she was interested in the way that uh, that, that the story played out. So uh, that you know that had a little something to do to do with it. Talk, talk about um, you have it's like a love triangle. You got Wayne, Roxy, and Joanne. Right. Talk about you as an African American writer um, developing these women characters, Roxy and Joanne. Okay. Well, uh, you know, they were not those those characters were not based on any on any real life models. Um, but uh, it, it was it was just uh, it was an attempt to explore uh, how a uh, an Afri a young African American man who, like me, was from a uh, an entirely black uh, neighborhood, would uh, confront the the issue and the possibility of uh, of crossing a, a, a racial line in terms of dating. Like you know, the, the first time it, the first time the thought even occurred to him, um, and as you know, as as a possibility, and and sort of navigating the the feelings of uh, uh, you know breaking a taboo and, and sort of uh, Guilt, not not that there necessarily should be guilt, but but a sort of guilt that's sort of imposed from without, from from the rest of society. But let's look so at yeah. the setting of your story because you know this is a college campus, this is a small town, mm -hmm. uh, this isn't like you know Greenwich Village or Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 so, so what what are the dynamics that you had to deal with in terms of exploring it in, in terms of that setting? Right. Well, you know, of course, the the story is set in the early '80s, uh, uh, which is getting to be a long time ago now. So uh, you know, you're dealing with uh, you're dealing with just like people's uh, uh, again societally imposed uh, uh, views of interracial dating is something that you, you're just not you know not supposed to do and some people don't even think of it that way you know it's something you're not supposed to do without even really questioning why that is that you're not supposed to do that so you know so there was so some of that was involved in it uh, so that gets back into the title of, of, of the story you know, judgment, yes, right. yeah. Now, how do you take that idea now mm -hmm. in terms of just dealing with relationships and now dealing with literature in general in terms of people judging your work? Hmm, well, um, yeah, I mean, th there is, uh, I mean, being a writer is, especially if you're writing about something uh, that's, all, that's at all controversial, you're going to confront the issue of, of people's judgment about it and about you. Um, 
So then it's a matter of, well, you know, do I believe in this enough to uh, to put it out there and kind of weather the, whatever criticism that you might get? And, um, you know, I, I always say I, I've, uh, um, I've never been a, a particularly uh, physically brave individual. So, you know, if, if, uh, yeah, if, I, if I'm not in it, Quizás fue grande el accidente porque hay mucha ambulancia y policía.
sé que te di, mi identidad perdí, en mi cabeza estás, solo tú y nadie más, y me duele al pensar, nunca me serás de mi enamorate. un trailer Voy a 